Hivyo tunachezwa karata. Mahasala sasa wafungue macho. Ikiwa kama wewe sasa iweze kwenda hospitali, wewe ukafanya ukapata matibabu, utakosa matibabu na utakufa kwa sababu serikali yako haijajali nini maslahi yako ya nini ya afya. And by that, by extension, the government shall be violating. You are right. You are right what? You are right for what? For getting a proper health health care in our what in our institutions. Kwa hivyo nasema ya kwamba Mungu atujalie lakini mengi tumeshayaona. Lakini huu ni mwanzo tu. Mengi bado yanakuja. Fungueni macho. Katika kununua ndege hii ya, ya private jet hii private jet ni nilio kwa gani? Kwa sababu madaktari wako barabarani. Madaktari they are not asking for any increment but they are asking for their rights. Hakuna mu, hakuna kitu ambao wanauliza serikali kwamba iwaongeze lakini wanataka ile kitu ambayo serikali ilipunguza kutoka kwao. That means they are just fighting for their rights. How is fighting katika mshahara? Lakini kitu ambayo inafanyika leo the, the government inasema ya kwamba budget ya Kenya it is above the wage, wage bill from 35% imefika mpaka 49%. Sasa kwa hivyo hawawezi kuongeza ama kurudisha madaktari ile pesa ambayo ilikuwa inatakikana. But to the irony ni kwamba the same same government ambayo inasema ya kwamba it cannot part with even with any money kulipa madaktari is now the same government ambayo inataka ku appoint CAS walipe mishara mikubwa mikubwa some of them wanaenda kukula mishara wengi wengi wao wanaenda kula mishara ambayo imezidi mpaka wabunge where is this money going to come from hii pesa ya madaktari ya maneno ya, ya CAS inaenda kutoka wapi kwa nini kwa madaktari inasemekana kwamba wage bill iko juu na kwa CAS sasa wage bill imerudi chini hapa tunachezwa what is happening now the thing is ikiwa kama CAS wataandikwa kazi kweli na CAS tunajua ya kwamba wamekuja nyuma ya nini wamekuja na backdoor kwa sababu katiba haijafanya nini katiba hayajakubalia lakini madaktari katiba imewakubalia kupitia katika CBA walikuwa wameelewana na serikali so it was about the government to do what uh, to implement it but but, but 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 because the government does not want has got no faith in implementing the CBA is telling the the the, 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 the KMPDU that they have got no money. But now my question is how am I as kama atakuwa analipwa katika serikali na ni pesa ni wananchi. Mimi nauliza hii pesa imetoka wapi ndugu zangu? Imetoka wapi? Kuna source nyingine ambapo serikali imepata pesa. Na wakati kama serikali ita insist ku appoint the, the CAS then this is what we call misplacement of priority this is what we call poor leadership this is course what we call poor administration the president has got no clue in anything to do with the administration of the country because the sensitive issues the sensitive matters that he's supposed to address he is neglecting them and let me tell you my dear kenyans if the president has gone is has, has developed a cold feet on the implementation of the CBA for the KMP, uh, KMP PDU. That means the president is not, does not want to serve Kenyans, and especially the hustlers that he pledged that he is going to better their lives. Nandio manaka tunasema ya kwamba hapa tunadanganywa. Madaktari wakua wamegoma. Wewe niambia wabunge wetu na wao CAS na wao cabinet ministers. So utapata ndege waende Ulaya kufanya matibabu, kupata matibabu. What about the poor Kenyans? What about the poor Kenyans? So let us tell the country today. By paying the doctors, by implementing their CBA, the president shall be showing the Kenyans that he really have faith to Kenyans. But by rejecting the poor the, the, the CBA, that means the, Ken, the president is not willing he is not willing to serve the ordinary Kenyans. Where shall we go? We as ordinary Kenyans. Which hospital shall we go to if the doctors are in the street and the, the leaders are there? They don't have even that willingness to approach them on the table so that they can discuss the matters that are at, at hand. To me, the CAS, they are not as important as the doctors. 
that we need them at the hospitals. Kwa hivu nataka ni semi wapendwa. Hivyo tunachezo wa karata. Mahasila sasa wafungue macho. Ikiwa kama wewe sayi wezi kuenda sibitali, wendo kafanya ukapata matibabu, utakosa matibabu na utakufa kwa sababu sirikali yako haijajali nini masilai yako ya nini ya afya. And by that, by extension, the government shall be violating. You are right. You are right what? You are right for what? For getting a proper health healthcare in our what? in our institutions. Kwa hivyo nasema ya kwamba Mungu atujalie lakini mengi tumeshayaona. Lakini huu ni mwanzo tu. Mengi bado yanakuja. Fungueni macho.